want to get better at playing over the chord changes in the blues, you really need to connect the chords you're using with the scale. Let me show you a simple approach that will help you do that. All right, in these examples, we're looking at a G7, C7, D7, or D9, C9, G7. Over this entire progression, I'm looking at the G blue scale. For me, connecting the chord to the scale, you have to at least add some of the chord tones. And in the G here, this B note is not, is, it, is a chord tone of the G, but it's not in the minor pentatonic because it's the major third. That's why a hammering up to it sounds good a lot of times. So if you can add in the fourth fret of the G string this B note here, second fret of the A string a B note here, along with the minor pentatonic scale, it gives it a lot of bluesy flavor. Sounds a lot more like the, the chord because the chord tones are in it, all the chord tones. G right there. As a C comes around, this E note is really what I'm targeting. Fifth fret of the B string is an E. Second fret of the D string is also a B note. But just briefly hitting these, these target notes, but going back to the minor pentatonic in between. All right, going up to the D, we're walking chromatically right to the D note here in the fifth fret of the A string. Sliding up third fret to fourth fret of the D string. Third fret of the B string is a D note and then hitting a C, which is the minor third of the D7 chord. C. You can hear the chords go by if, if you just target those few chord tones. A really good way to practice this is to hit the chord, whatever chord you want to use. And walking down to the C and targeting that chord tone, which is not in the minor pentatonic. So when you do go to it, it really sticks out and it sounds great. And the same with the D. Hopefully you can hear those chords go by just with that simple phrasing and targeting just even just one of the chord tones because a lot of them are in the minor pentatonic. So for me it's all about the major third for these chords because that the, the major third is not in the minor pentatonic scale of any of these chords. So it, once you if you briefly hit that, you know, the B note for the G, E note for the C, and the F sharp note for the D. Just walking down to those and still using your favorite pentatonic licks.
targeting these chord tones in the blues is so effective and sound, it just sounds bluesy. When you briefly hit, and, and I'm really, it's all about the major thirds for the most part. If you can target those briefly and go back to the minor pentatonic scale, and I, I, I chose a slow blues for that reason, is you can, you can hear those, those chord tones and you can hear the chord as you play those. So to pull this all together, it's all about the major thirds. Major third of the G. Major third of the C. Now obviously this stuff is all over the neck. I chose to stay in one position to give you some ideas over the minor pentatonic, especially if you're stuck in this one position, adding these chord tones can just op open things up. But if you just take this to another position, it's, and all these notes are all over the neck, but you can really sound bluesy if you just start using some of the chord tones in your solo. So thanks again. I, I really appreciate all your support and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.